Good evening. There's currently 13 schools across Toronto within the public and Catholic boards closed due to COVID outbreaks, including right here at Clinton Street Junior Public School in the heart of downtown near Bathurst and College. There's belief that children in hot zones like here could be returning to virtual learning. Today we spoke with parents, a leading doctor and Ontario's Minister of Education. I just don't know what we have to do to get it through their thick heads that they need to keep schools open. Anger and stress is boiling over for many Ontario families with fears of another pending closure of schools. Brown went Alsop is a mother of two young children with special needs. Virtual learning took its toll on her daughter this winter. Alsop is also an early childhood educator. She believes school-aged children are being used as political pawns. They're very eager to open anything that makes money for the economy for Ontario. But whenever it comes to uh, something like schools, we'll close that first because it's in our control. While announcing the Ontario COVID-19 child benefit, which will give families $400 of additional support per child, Education Minister Stephen Lecce was quick to point out that he believes the province-wide average of COVID cases in schools is relatively low. 99% of students and staff do not have an active case today. Uh, 75 to 76% of schools don't have one case at all. Though when you break it down to regions, you can see the numbers in some of the hot zones tell a different story. According to Public Health Ontario, there's 81 active outbreaks in Toronto schools. In Peel, there's 30 schools dealing with COVID outbreaks. They'll drive down the QEW to Hamilton and the number drops down to three schools. Kids are scheduled to take their March break the week of April 12th. There's concerns that once the break is over, students will be forced to stay home. Can you tell parents in the city of Toronto today with confidence that after the April break, kids will be going back into the classroom? Uh, our full commitment is to get children back to class following the April break. We're going to be elevating our um, our infection prevention measures and our testing access for students and staff because we recognize numbers are rising in the community. The multiple doctors in the province are saying that schools and hot zones need to be closed yet again, stating that children are bringing home the COVID variant to family members, some of whom are ending up in hospitals and in our ICUs. Schools are a reservoir for COVID and as the numbers are ramping up, the asymptomatic testing of a couple of schools here and there doesn't do anything for the big picture. Though Alsop, who will be protesting at Queen's Park tomorrow with the parent group she's founded, believes that children's mental health has yet to be factored into the equation. I think children are being neglected, really. The children are being neglected, their mental health is being neglected, they're not thinking anything about how this is affecting them. Many parents across Toronto and in other regions this week have already begun receiving emails from school principals asking if their child needs a computer should virtual learning return. Now, some proactive teachers are also sending students home already with school supplies. 